Here I am going to present why typing in Indic languages is difficult and how to make it more intuitive. This is a video presentation because I realize that uh, presenting the same thing in a paper form will take longer and maybe more difficult to comprehend. So I have made a video out of it which I will share with all the concerned people and hope that uh, it can be looked into and we can achieve some standards. Uh, now with the Digital India which the government of India is pushing uh, a lot and in the right direction, the internet penetration to the villages and other places will increase dramatically where the knowledge of English is limited and will uh, create uh, problems for the people who do not know English to use the mobile applications and websites. Uh, and even today, as per IMI, there is about only 125 million English speaking users and internet penetration is 460 million. And as and when the thing goes up in uh, numbers of internet connections and mobile applications, uh, the percentage of English speaking users will continue to reduce. If, if we look at um, some of the figures, the figures of 2011 is not yet released. Uh, in terms of the speaking population but uh, looking at the issue the people who are proficient in English uh, today is about 1 to 2 percent uh, those who can understand English in some form and may able to uh, you know write something with the wrong spelling wrong meanings incorrect way about 10 to 15 percent who can write reasonably well English is 3 to 5 percent and very rudimentary knowledge of English is about 20-30% who have studied in schools and then managed to keep in knowledge about it. But this percentage is growing for different reasons altogether. If they have to use the mobile devices, they have to know the language, uh, English language. And uh, those who know the English language also find uh, those who are bilingual and which most of people are, uh, find very difficult to use the keyboard of uh, Indic languages. Indic language keyboard uh, is a real challenge so everybody that thus use the English uh, language keyboard and then uh, try to use it in some form to create a, either the font or the <coughs> UTF-8 format for the Indic language. Th th this is not the best solution uh, because uh, the person is seeing English alphabets and uh, correlating and uh, going by phonetics. Uh, creating a right English uh, uh, Indic language is always a challenge. In this uh, presentation, I will I will focus on the Devanagari or Hindi script, but it is copyable everywhere uh, in all Indic languages. The, the the problem lies. Let's understand why why the problem and what is what exactly is the problem. The first typewriter was made in 1865. Uh, was uh, used to look something like a half ball or a half hemisphere was like this. The first present day looking hemisphere was by uh, Scholz Glidden in 1868. If you notice in this keyboard, the keys were uh, entirely different from the present format. Well, when when uh, Scholz were working on this uh, keyboard, he realized his uh, Keys used to, uh, or the hammers which used to take up the keys used to get stuck with each other as you type slightly faster and he realized that it won't work. So he took help of his friends and uh, developed uh, this keyboard which is uh, now being used uh, and uh, he realized that in this the probability of getting stuck uh, with the various hammers reduces dramatically. It is based on the con concept of frequencies and the uh, distance between the hammers. Uh, and the uh, and the arm which is taking up for printing and this is the keyboard which has got uh, patented in 1874 and then Remington mass produced it in large number so uh, this was the typewriter which the uh, uh, QWERTY typewriter which we use today uh, was mass produced and given extensively across the people and over a period of time people achieve efficiencies and effectiveness to use this particular keyboard. After that many types of keyboards have come. Uh, various type keyboard have come on the base, base similar concept. In fact, uh, Dwok uh, keyboard was at least five times more efficient and non-sticky 
uh, then the shoals uh, keyboard but uh, because by the time the walk came into being uh, people are already uh, in use of the shawls keyboard and uh, hence uh, the changeover was difficult the situation is something like uh, today's environment when people are using the whatsapp despite uh, better applications like uh, hike or the telegram has come about but people are still stuck to whatsapp and the, the, that continue to grow rather than anything else so it is not because of efficiency and effectiveness but sheer mass usage the uh, 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 qwerty keyboard uh, uh, continue to use so the present keyboard look like this where uh, keyboard is there so you you see there's no relationship with the adjacent uh, keys uh, or adjacent alphabets the and when 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 the computers or mobile phones have come into being it is meaningless that where each alphabet is because nothing nothing going to stuck nothing going to do everybody using single finger or maybe thumb to uh, type so it is all meaningless but today the situation is everybody is intuitively know where the next alphabet lies so he doesn't even have to look towards the uh, keyboard and continue to type very efficiently and effectively so this keyboard what has happened is this keyboard got embedded into the brain and now the people can uh, type intuitively with a very little help and um, looking at the keyboard uh, they don't have to concentrate that uh, exact position they knew intuitively where the keyboard is when we when we look at the hindi keyboard this is the this the, the present official hindi keyboard which was uh, uh, you know uh, government has uh, ordered looks no, no relationship it, it actually based out of the same principle as shawls uh, keyboard of frequency and not sticking Pro probably it made at the time when the typewriters were there and people who were not there are not enough people who are typing in the key so it, it probably worked fine but as we move forward we start seeing more variety of keyboards start coming in and when when we move to the computer world the uh, the remington came up with a more efficient keyboard uh, but it, it because it's not sticking and they, they there were some mechanism they achieved but if you see it they, they, you can't make out where the next key will be it is not intuitive to anybody and as you move forward the when the mobile phones and the tablets and the touch screens have come the type of keyboard is just grew in number and the positions of alphabets were continuously changing every practically everything google has its own type of keyboard in fact google on on the mobile phone has got different uh, look of keyboard and on the on the tablet has got different look of keyboard in the separate devices has got different samsung is entirely different and it is it is just not possible the, 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 there is no relationship so when i'm using a keyboard indic keyboard let's like say hindi keyboard in one device i change to another device i, I won't know where to touch so perforce i fall back on the english keyboard at least there the standardization has achieved so once standardization is there then the intuitiveness comes in but there is no standardization at present and that leads to uh, the serious problems no 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 let's look at the english alphabets when you look at the english alphabets uh, they there they have no correlation a has got no relationship with b b has got no relation with c j has no relation with k l has got no relation with m they just arbitrarily place 26 alphabets that's it there, there, there is no relationship there is no scientific reasons behind it probably uh, maybe how, how how they spoke and they moved to greek and many many things but fact of life is there is no relationship between adjacent alphabets uh, even vowels are not together they all spread all over the place but when you look at the indic language a very scientifically structured they 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 is a kanthe or gruntal they then the talave or platal or murdhanye dante oshthe so there there is varna mala kavarg chavarg tavarg tavarg pavarg and they were spoken from different place in the mouth the different place comes into being when we look at it that's how they are placed so they are very scientifically placed when we, this is this is when we are looking at the uh, row part even columns if you look at it the columns are also well structured they, they so whole uh, alphabet uh, not only in devanagari all languages of india all languages of india are similarly structured 
there is no difference primarily on the, on the structuring and how 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 the alphabets are placed and how the alphabetical pronunciation and which is the sequence of alphabet is generally same if you look at even in utf they they, they they are all all very similar to each other and very easy to correlate even singhala uh, and khmer and thai um, actually draws out of brahmi and uh, uh, use the similar structure of the alphabets so if that being the situation now now let's focus on the main part I mean, when you look at devanagari script or hindi varn mala or devanagari varn mala uh the, this is how the table looks like and uh, beyond this is everything is either half of it mix of it multiple of it matra of it but the complete uh, structure of uh, devanagari script is this and then the, then the then, then the various other versions and uh, mechanism comes into play so if if you look at this uh, particular uh, thing there are uh, you can count uh, there are uh, seven groups we can make there is vowel uh, gutturals uh, platals cerebrals dentals uh, lab, uh, labials and semivowels in uh, uh, last part can be all joined uh, into one group so there are seven groups now what struck me is if these are seven groups we they can be grouped into seven uh, very clear component so last two groups are actually not but then we can take them as one because that solves the problem to some extent and they matches with the uh, with the seven colors of the rainbow so taking from there i said let's color today it is possible for mobile phone it may not be possible once upon a time when the typewriters were there today it is possible for the mobile phones tablets and digital devices to have the color e- even keyboards can be made color of course but but uh, the, the, the we what we are looking at the penetration of internet through the mobile devices then primarily through the mobile devices uh, the the color is very much possible now if we standardize the color uh, in in the rainbow format we we will achieve a standard the advantage of uh, indic language is that Uh, they can be go anywhere like we saw earlier uh, in one of the one of the slide where uh, uh, for example in the uh, google uh, 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 keyboard they don't use the uh, last of the fifth alphabet so when that is not used only first four alphabet is used then last alphabet comes somewhere else sometime you and once you give the color you have enormous power to shift this anywhere mm-hmm. and you know intuitively now ki ch will be a yellow second letter over a period of time you will gain this knowledge even even alphabet can be in color form and uh, even if you change around place anywhere you quickly have to intuitively able to go look at look at this look at this so they they, they can be they they can be easily 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 uh you know uh, can be handled no no if that is the situation we 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 need to we need to understand it that uh, how, how to handle the whole uh, things and if we standardize this component then then the intuitiveness will come into play and as we move forward this becomes a part of uh, this color scheme is ac- accepted and get implemented across and tell anybody and everybody that this is the color scheme you have to use or this is the color scheme which is standardized then whether it is a google or whether it is samsung or whether it is a private people all will use this color scheme and not only that when you go to the kindergarten or nursery the 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 alphabet teaching of the kids also can be with that so over next few years time the uh the the color will get embedded into the intuitiveness of the child and he will immediately able to use the keyboard uh thank you dhanyawad the uh the the color will get embedded into the intuitiveness of the child and he will immediately able to use the keyboard uh thank you dhanyawad